Hey everybody, so today I am here to give you guys another bi-weekly grocery haul from Aldi and Walmart or Walmart grocery pickup. But I'm going to run over meal plan for the next couple weeks. I've got grocery night, which is basically tonight. I get something really quick and easy for Mark and I. And then sausage stew, french toast and eggs, loaded nachos, meatball subs, grilled cheese and tomato soup. This day we have to eat out because we are going to be out all day long, so that's probably what's going to end up happening anyways. And then there's Father's Day, and then we're going to do grilled chicken and mac and cheese. Leftovers from Father's Day because I know we'll have a ton. And then stromboli for Mark and cauliflower pizza for myself, manicotti, chicken fajitas and rice. And for Father's Day, we're in charge of hot dogs, strawberry pie, chocolate sugar cookies, and baked potatoes. I ended up spending $180 at Walmart and then $100 at Aldi, which together is $280, which is perfect because I did want to budget in that night that we're eating out. $20 is suffice. Like I said, I did do the grocery pickup for Walmart again, and again, I have no complaints. It went really smoothly. Looking over my order, everything looks to be good. And I will put my referral link down below. It'll give you $10 off your first grocery pickup order. So let's just start with Walmart. I did get our fabric softener. I got some Hello Bella wipes. I'm just going to order one of these every single time I place a grocery order because I am almost 28 weeks pregnant, so it's just time to start stocking up. And then I got our favorite toilet cleaner. This stuff is amazing. It's the best. Then I got the girls some new toothbrushes, some glue. That's for other stuff down the line. And then I got some wheat sub buns and then I also got some hot dog buns. Down here we do have some paper towels. Back here I have the manicotti noodles. There's some fiber one oatmeal raisin cookies. The kids love these Lara bar chocolate chip little bars. They're really awesome. They smell good. I've never tried one but um, they only have eight ingredients and they had far less sugar than a lot of the other ones that I was looking at. You will notice that there is quite a few snacks in here, but I'm doing this to kind of test out what the girls like. I want to create kind of like a snack shelf for when we do have Lexi so they can grab their own snacks and kind of be self-sufficient in case I'm in the middle of something. So we're just trying out a whole bunch. And then I did get myself the Atkins cookies and cream bars. These are so, so good. And then... I got these sour raisin snacks, mac and cheese. Over here, I did get two um, water flavorings, cherry pomegranate, which I've never had before, but this blackberry lemonade I have, and it's so good. I also got myself a nail brush. Whenever my nails are short like this, I hate the dirt underneath there. And then I got some organic pickles, some banana peppers, these I got to stay in my diaper bag. Some pizza sauce, two things of SpaghettiOs. I got this for myself, but honestly, I've just been using the ketchup that we have on hand, which is pretty good ketchup, and it hasn't been a problem with my sugar levels thus far, and I probably didn't need to get this, but, you know, here it is. Some mayonnaise. This is some strawberry jelly. Got some animal crackers. Doritos. And the girls Cheetos back there. So back here I have our Kerrygold butter, two things of the girls Greek strawberry yogurt, pie crust because I'm pretty lazy right now and I don't want to make my own pie crust, and then some pizza crust, and then some Greek yogurt for eggs. I got two things of the salami because those sandwiches did work out really well for both Mark and I. Some pepperoni, two things of turkey, beef sticks, whatever you want to call them. These are the Walmart brand of the Oscar Mayer brand, and it has no nitrates and stuff. It just doesn't have a pretty packaging, but these are the hot dogs that I got for Father's Day. And this I also got, I meant to pick one of these, either that mac and cheese or this one, and I forgot to take one off, so we're just set with the mac and cheese for a while. And then we've got some carrots, Two personal watermelons. That was an accident on my part. I thought they were full size, but I didn't read what I was adding to my cart good enough. I've got a cantaloupe, a thing of potatoes. Those are um, mandarin oranges, a white onion, and then I got 
four cucumbers. They didn't have organics, but I still wanted to get the girls some more vegetables, so this is what I went with. And then two pounds of strawberries. And then I got Mark his Zero Gatorade and also some Cherry Coke Zero for myself. And Mark got pizza pockets for tonight's dinner. And then to Aldi, I've got a whole bunch of bananas here, as you can see. We have two bags of apples in the back. There was three bags of grapes because they were 98 cents a pound, I believe, this week. And then I got myself some milk and the girls, their mini peppers. Mark eats those too. I have not had organic pears around me in quite some time. Walmart and Aldi both do not carry them right now, so I just got regular ones. I got some mixed peppers. So I got Mark some broccoli to take to work for his vegetable. I also got him some ice cream. And then these were one of those like limited time kind of things at my Aldi. But I got these for myself because the um, carbs on them are actually really good. So it's only nine grit. <laughs> If I could get it to focus, it wants to focus on the ricotta cheese. There we go. I finally got it to focus. But the nutritional facts on these were actually pretty good. And the fact that there's only nine carbs in one of them, I was really excited about. So I can have some ice cream, which will be nice for a snack. And then I got two things of eggs, cream cheese, butter, heavy whipping cream. A lot of this stuff is for the recipe for my pie and everything else for Father's Day, but a couple things of mozzarella, and then some string cheese, ricotta cheese, sour cream. I got two things of ketchup, two things of marinara, two big jugs of the unsweetened applesauce, which is amazing. It's such good applesauce. I love it. I got one for myself to pair with a protein for one of my snacks, but the girls love it too. And then two things of the tomato basil soup. That's also an Aldi favorite of ours. And then I got myself some bread. I got the girls some bread and then relish. They didn't have our normal salsa, but we're going to try this one out. And then some con queso sauce and also some strawberry jello. And then I got our multi-grain sandwich thins. And I like the multi-grain way better than I like the wheat. The wheat actually dried out when I toasted my sandwiches because I am pregnant. So got to heat up your lunch meat. But they dried out really bad. But the multi-grain never did that to me. So I'm glad they had the multi-grain in stock this time. Got the girls some cereal i got them some pretzels they really love these everything ones they have those in plain i got them some banana chips as well and then i got myself my fiber one bars and that was everything that i got at aldi like i said i spent a hundred dollars at aldi and then i spent 180 at walmart giving myself that 20 dollars to use for eating out that one night but yeah if you guys have any questions leave them down in the comments below I'll do my best to answer them but I hope you guys enjoy the video and as always thanks for watching